Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Uh, for those of you who have subscribed to my channel, I'm sorry I haven't put a video out lately. I've been pretty busy. But today I'm going to be showing you uh, something that I got for Christmas. I got the uh, Wacom Bamboo Drawing Tablet. Um, and I've been playing around with it, installed the software, and uh, I'm going to show you how you can use it in Photoshop uh, to help you with drawing. So I made a uh, 500 by 500 pixel uh, document here and I've got my brush tool selected, I just have a white background and what we're going to do is open up the brushes uh, palette and you can also get to this by going to window and then brushes but I have it over here in this menu um, so most of my stuff is set to uh, off for the control um, let's go to shape dynamics and just check that on so we can start adjusting and we can take and go from off to pen pressure Normally that really wouldn't work um, unless you had a drawing tablet. So what this will do is the harder that I press, the fatter the line down here is going to be. And the lighter I press, the skinnier the line is going to be. So you can see how that works. So this pen pressure uh, control is pretty much the uh, most important. So let's turn that off and we can go to scattering and I can show you that, uh, pen pressure. And we'll just make it, <clears throat> we'll try and size down the... Uh, brush here. I'm just using the bracket key to do that. Uh, right above the enter key. And um, on this one, the uh, softer you push, the less scattering there is. And the harder you push, the more scattering you're going to get. And you can adjust some of the stuff in here too about the count. Um, but that's basically how that works. So if you turn off scattering, uh, texture and dual brush don't have the pen pressure ability. Uh, color dynamics does. So we're going to select pen pressure. And then let's just select some colors here. Uh, let's get like red and we'll get like a green color. All right, so now you can see uh, the more that I press, uh, the more the foreground color comes through and the less that I press, let me try and get really uh, faint pressing here. You can see the more of the background color that comes through. So you can kind of get like a uh, gradient effect by uh, using different pen pressure. So. You can see how that could benefit you. Um, the last one is other dynamics, and this one's pretty much an opacity one. I'm just going to set this back to uh, default colors, and we're going to bump up the brush size. And the harder you press on this one, the more of the color that's going to come through. So, oh, I haven't set it to pen pressure. There you go. We'll set it to pen pressure. That always helps. And the more that I press, um, the more of the colors that's that's going to come through. So you can see that I can get kind of a nice. Uh, difference here in color or in opacity so you can see we can start faint and then get really dark and then kinda uh, change it up depending on how hard we press so we can also take and combine these so let's say we want to combine the shape dynamics which is the one that uh, allows it to be um, skinny and then fat in the middle and this one which is um, light and then dark in the middle and you can combine these to get kind of a different effect like that. Like we'll start skinny and then let's say we press hard and it makes the gradient or the gradient with opacity. Um, and then we can kind of taper it off. So you can start with a really skinny line, get fat, and then kind of come back and make it skinny and taper off with a light color. Um, so you can combine these however you want um, in order to get some neat effects. Um, I was playing around uh, lately with the shape one and I uh, was making a little I made a little Christmas tree and you can see here let's see if I can get it to work out like you can uh, start off nice and small and then uh, <laughs> it's kind of fat right there but I think that'll be okay um, and then we can draw uh, like a trunk or something. You can kind of see how it starts off skinny at the top and then it gets fatter at the bottom. And that's kind of a practical application. I would go back and fix that up a little bit. Uh, but this is for demonstrational purposes. Let's draw a little trunk here. So you can kind of see the uh, application of this and it's, uh, it's really nice because it, it's terrible to draw with a mouse um, and being able to hold a pen like you would hold a pen or a pencil or brush or whatever you're using in real life it's it's a lot nicer um, so I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial 
Um, hopefully I can use this in some future tutorials uh, instead of the mouse. So uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.